to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Ooh, James, it's the Halloween episode. This is Halloween. This, this is, is Halloween. Halloween. This is Halloween. So we should tell the audience, because if you're subscribed on YouTube, by the way, we've joined with Drinking Bros Podcast on YouTube. We've switched channels now, so hop on over there to uh, come and see us, wanky. We're trying to make it easier for you, so put your thumbs away. Putting, Don't be mad. Putting everybody in the same spot. And again, we've we've it created a media company. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We've created a media company very similar to the vein of your mom's house. Sure. Where they've got a bunch of shows under one network. We're trying to treat this like a network, like it's NBC. Right. And we're going to be bringing some other shows on. So subscribe on there. And if you are watching, know that we're not in costume for a reason today. Because it is, well, you, you've you got a nice little. It's the thing I wore last year. Yeah, a wreath of. It's the Day of the Dead Day of wreath. the Dead, yes, yes. Because your Mexican heritage. Because of my very strong, important. strong Mexican <clears throat> roots and heritage. Yeah, What's yeah, up? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I love Coco. Well, the reason why we're not dressed up is it's actually pretty warm. Yeah, no. Uh, it's going to be 80-something? Yes. Walking around? 80-something walking around. I wanted around. a little chill. I wanted a little chill in the air. Same. I was going to wear like this onesie, but it was super hot. Um, it's a little warm in the studio. J- Jamie, do we have the temp turned down here in the studio? It feels a little warm in here today, but uh could be just me, you know, and my hotness. Oh, my, calm my down. Sessiness. Calm down, my bro. Sessiness. Before we get into our Halloween show here, I man, I had some weird things happen on the way down to the studio today. Okay. Really let's affected riff. Me. Let's riff it up. Let's chop it up. Yeah. I, I the first thing the first one that got me was there's not many homeless people here, which which I like. Because in, in California there was there's 60,000. Yeah. It's a hard number, by the way. That it really is 60,000. And um, they don't do anything about it because, you know, obviously it's super liberal and they don't give a shit. And, and they're like, oh, no, everything's cool, right? We'll just walk around you and pretend you're not there. Right. Whereas here, when you see someone, you're like, oh, shit. They must be really homeless, right? Yeah. Except for today. I saw a homeless guy who were, were appeared to be. And he was... I'll give it to him. He was in character. Sure. Like he was really going for it, like the the whole. Uh, uh. And I know what you're Damn. saying Ross. There's a terrible person. He could be really homeless. No, and I'll tell you why. He had a goatee. Uh-huh. Now think about it. It's, it seems simple enough, right? You drive by it. You drive by somebody, and you're like, ah, man, that guy's going through some hard times. Look at their facial hair. Right. Why would you have a goatee? Think about it. If you're homeless, right? Sure. You don't have a place to sleep. You're mm-hmm. asking for money on the, on the side of the street. Mm-hmm. When did you have time to say, man, you know what I really want to look like? I want to look like a, a, a man with a goatee rather than a beard. A beard. Because so, so is that where you're, like the money you're panhandling is going towards is mm-hmm. shaving products? If so, go to straightrazors.com. I don't know where it's going to be sent to, obviously. Right. But... It made me think of the broader look of the homeless man and just say, oh, well, shit, you can go ahead and rule out anyone with a goatee because that is time consuming to shave. Uh-huh. I've had a mustache. I've had a handlebar mustache before. Shaving that thing, is, it's, it's kind of a bitch, you know? Right. Yes, you're only shaving half your face. But why the goatee? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Straight beard. If you're homeless, like, where, right. when, when are you taking the time to do that? And so I, yeah. I looked at him and I was like, and it was a nice goatee where I was just so like, he may not be homeless. He may be jobless. No. Okay. Cause let's say it you were like he was living out there. Yeah, uh, no, yes and no. Right. He kind of looked like, you know, I'm in the lawn section at fish. Like I'm not in the seats, but I'm in the lawn. Like I'm in the lawn, you know, when I go to uh, an outdoor venue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh, Birkenstocks. Okay. The whole okay, shit. Okay, um, okay. But he had a, a goatee and it appeared to be colored. Because let's oh, face like it, we, and we've had this discussion it. before. Hmm. Any grown man over the age of 38 
you had a color up at one point, or it's just going to be gray. He was definitely older than 38. So not only was he dying the goatee, um, but he, he had a goatee. You know, it wasn't a straight beard. There was a lady, we would always joke, uh, a homeless lady, crazy lady, on the steps of this church in Silver Lake across from House of Pies. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who lives yeah. in L.A. Yeah. currently knows the area or ever has whatever house of pies is a pretty famous pretty famous landmark. thing so caddy corner to that is this church on the steps of the church there was this lady homeless um seemingly homeless she worked it every day i'm gonna give her that right mm-hmm. worked it all yeah. day every day talking to herself, herself and everything she had bleach blonde hair never any roots yeah. nails done yep eyebrows waxed and yeah. It was always a joke. I mean, she was clearly crazy and homeless, I guess. I didn't see where she went at night, but it was always like, it was a joke that I had that I was like, you can, you, you can get your eyebrows waxed. Yeah. It's $5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The homeless lady in front of House of Pies. Has her eyebrows has waxed. Has her eyebrows. You yeah. have no excuse. Yeah. Unless you're denying the fact that you have a mustache, but you do. Yeah. So get it waxed. It's three bucks. So I, I just, you know, you can go by looks of some of these people and you're like, dude, if that's where your money is going, I, I like, I, I, I don't know. It, In L.A., you can argue they have houses, but no money for anything else. Right. Yeah. Like you could be. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's one point I should have been panhandling. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? The, you don't have that option here where it's just like, look, you can find affordable housing and all that stuff. Yeah. And I think we have I mean, we we take care i i think i think we have shelters i don't know yeah we do yeah we do. so um I, look i've seen like five homeless people in my entire time yeah. here i feel like which is a good thing right. um but yeah today's with the goatee i was like man there's you're not really homeless either like that's it's still five it's not six so five right. people um right. now the woman i saw at chick-fil-a i actually i'm gonna knock this down to four Did i tell you about that one it's about a year ago. There was a woman outside of Chick Fil A, and uh, she was pregnant. Okay. So I thought. Ish. Went into Chick Fil A, mm-hmm. pulled in, um, ordered some food for my child, and right. uh, felt shameful about this the uh, spicy chicken chicken biscuit when it when it did exist that I was going to scarf down by myself. Right. Mm-hmm. Ate that in the parking lot, and I saw her pull out Jane's Addiction style rubber maternity thing for the baby and then she got arrested right there in front of the chick-fil-a and i had video of it i, d- I debated about posting it but i was like man too sad bro. i know too that's sad. exactly what happened yeah um too sad and it's still a on mental my phone. thing i still i still have that on my there. phone where i'm yeah. like man oh, yeah eesh, yeah eesh, you know the other eesh, thing i saw today what um i saw driving in i went to grab you a sammy mm-hmm. thank and, you uh, by the way yeah we can pop we we'll We'll give them a shout out because they're local, right? It's just a local company. Um, local to North Carolina, right? Port City, Port Java. Port City, Java. They don't exist anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, either way. But we we never were they introduced to here, Port I think, City, Java. We're in the Port City. Yeah, sure. They started here, and if they branched out, good for them. Whatever. They have good coffee. They have uh, good food. That's that Sammy you like. Uh, that Mediterranean is wrap. The jam. Yeah, that wrap with no chicken. That's the way to do it. As I was driving picking that up for you on the way in um i pat there was a uh, right across the street from the hospital there was maybe 20 25 people outside older uh probably 50 plus and they were all holding like anti-abortion signs oh okay mm. at where uh right out in front of the hospital like across the street from it okay and it, I, I i was like it we drove in at noon today because mm-hmm. um, we had a, a guest that's coming on tonight that requested to come on later tonight and uh, came in a little later today. And I saw like 25 people protesting abortion out there and like pr- praying for it and everything. And I'm like, man, I wonder. it's Wednesday mm-hmm. at noon. You don't have jobs or anything else like you couldn't, you know, and they're like, honk, if you believe in it, wh- I, what's that going to do? Right. Um. I don't understand the, the afternoon protesters. Who has that time? They were, they were in Chicago the other day for, there was, a, I guess, a Trump speaking or mm-hmm. coming there or whatever, and there was like, you know, two or 300 people protesting outside Trump Ooh. hotels. They always pick his hotels as if he's going to fucking show up there. 
It's like it's just his name on well, it. Well, but it's where he makes his money, right? So uh, I guess if you're uh, messing up business. That's gonna. It, it's not. I think though. they're trying to get to his wallet, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> to make a difference. Good luck with that. No, sure. I'm just saying. I, I, but the same thing I thought too, because it was it was around noon, one p.m. I was like, man, who has time to protest in the afternoon during the week? Who lets you out of your job for that? How do you go in and pitch that to your boss? I'm going to be a little late today. Why? Well, right. I'm holding up a handmade cardboard sign. I'm going to go protest. Right. Something, anything, whatever it is. Right? Yeah. And I get it if you believe in abortion or, or whatever. I, I'm not going to shame you either way. Mm. I'm just going to shame the, the ability to protest and do it at a proper time. And what time is that? Weekends? After work. Yeah. yeah weekends, after work. I think. I think weekends would be a good one. After work. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, right after the nine to five shift sure. is over, then maybe do it. Sure. Pull over and, and have a nice protest. Right, 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 right. I, I always just want to roll down the window and say, man, what, what job do you have? What is that? Because I. What is that? I want it. I dude. know. I just kind of want to hang out with a it, sign. Can I just say whatever I want and do that all day? Um, pff, fuck. Well, if we're talking about things that uh, caught our eye or ear on the way over. Yeah, fire away. <laughs> so, you know, my big stance, my only stance that I take, what is it? Big pharma, right? Big pharma, yes. Keeping us sick, yes. making money off of keeping us ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I saw a new side effect. You know, remember when anal leakage was the big one? Oh, yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah, gosh, yeah. all these have anal leakage. Sure. Rough. Uh, I heard a new one. It was for a heart medicine, some kind of prevent heart attack, whatever, mm-hmm. medicine with some weird Zorelto, Gadelto, Belto type thing. Side effect, infection of the perineum. Hmm. You know what the perineum is? Actually, don't. Taint. Ah. So, and then they went on to explain it. They said, the perineum is the skin. Okay. Located between the genitals and the butthole. I said butthole. Now, you know. Rectum. But like it was written, yeah, rectum. Yeah. It was like written under, it was a little, little small. The, what after. is it called? Perineum. Perineum. Man, I have not heard that term before. But how weird to take a heart medicine and then, boom, infection down there. Yeah, the in taint. Your taint. Ugh. This Yikes. is what I'm talking about, people. Don't like it. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they wouldn't dare tell you to change your diet or go talk to a dietitian about possibly, you know, clearing some arteries and getting on a diet that's going to, anything, sure. right? No. Don't even bother. No. I'm going to put you on this. Your taint's going to be fucked up. Yep. But you're going to live. You may want to die. Yeah. After a while. Yeah. With that perineum infection. But you won't have a heart attack. I'll be, I'll be, so I'll be completely real with you. Okay. I would rather have a heart attack than have a fucked up taint because that is something that if that gets raw down there. But how you does start not, scratching or not being able to scratch oh. or like, do you know what I mean? So forget yeah, it. Yeah. Give me a heart attack or yeah. give me the, I may have one someday kind of thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, same with like AFib medication or whatever. Like they wanted to put my dad on it. And he, of course, like me and my whole family is like, no, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going on this weird shit. I just saw my friend go on it. He gained a fucking shit ton of weight. He's depressed. He's now on antidepressants. Right. You know, like <clears throat> we see it. But to me, I don't understand how people don't like when the doctor says this may cause all of these other things. Mm-hmm. Does that not click in your mind of like, I'll tell you why. They maybe don't, they don't I tell you. shouldn't. The doctor doesn't tell you. That's why. And about the side effects. Right. Very, very rarely. Um, because you know. it cuts into their bottom line as well. Sort of. I, look, yeah, I, no, I, the bi- they're paying doctors to sell their I tw- whatever, well, push he, whatever they the So I, I, take, I take Xanax, right, from, mm. from time to time. And I have to go in now to go get it. So every time I get a prescription, I have to physically go in and they have to ask me these series of questions. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I've had it off and on for years. And it's just like, we're... We're way past that now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, we've got new studies that have propped up and we've got to read you this. Uh, so every time I got to go and, and, and hear this list and then I have to answer mm. that I'm not going to do these things. I'm mm. not going to kill circus animals. Right. I'm not going to punch a bear in the face. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the tingly leg? Oh, yeah. 
Restless well, leg. Restless leg. Yeah. One of the side effects was imp- impulsive gambling. Yes. Side effects. Yeah. Man, like that kind of shit. If you doesn't that make you feel like you're just taking something that's like scrambling everything up and making things fucked? Yeah. It look. I, I want, take I a tingly say this. leg. Dude. Yeah. If I, I want to say this though, if you do have restless leg and you you take that medication and you have a gambling problem. Go to mybookie.com, promo code Drinking Bros. We'll double your deposit all the way to $1,000. That is our sponsor for the sports show. I just recommend that. I just recommend that, right? Um, but you're right. There is things. However, I, I feel like I know when my body is responding wrong to medication. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes there's something chemically wrong inside of you, and you can't, you're not taking anything, and you're like, oh, fuck, something's wrong with me. Mm-hmm. But I feel like medication-wise, I know when something is affecting me. Um, or when it's not, but I can see but what you're, you're saying. you're not taking these other things. Right. Like, right. you're not taking antidepressants. You're not taking AFib stuff. You're not taking right. the Relto, the Belto, the Delta, all this stuff. Sure. So you think you would. But once you get into the head stuff, yeah, you Yeah, once you get into know, the head dude. stuff, it's, uh, you really don't know. Yeah, you don't. Um, and that was... That was that Kanye interview aired last night on Corden, and uh, that's what he was kind of talking about. And he's been pretty honest about the head medication and all that shit that he was on, mm-hmm. what he had to take, what he shouldn't have took in, and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I, look, it's it's real and it can affect you. So, uh, but what 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 a homeless person shouldn't have that was a go-to. And I think that's got you. again we should really circle back to that. I got you. Um, but it is Halloween, James. This is our Halloween special. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't yeah. feel like it to me. This year has been so crazy for us that Halloween has come here and there, and it's like, holy shit. Last night, we were carving pumpkins. Mm-hmm. The children, we went to the pumpkin patch. We were carving pumpkins. You were, you were just a talented motherfucker, dude. Like, for real. Thanks, bro. Yeah. I mean, what am I? Do, what, I got back. On I'm my- gonna. I'm gonna give you some shine here. Um, I do a lot, by the way, and I and I feel like I just keep adding to that list. There is some people in this life who can just do a lot of things great when it takes zero effort. I watched you paint an entire pumpkin like Pennywise last night, mm-hmm. virtually like a go- like you were on the goddamn streets, like you were painting it on the streets of L.A. <laughs> it was perfect. It was flawless. It was just like, oh, mm-hmm. how, the, how, how, how do you do that? And you looked at a picture on your phone and I watched you because mm-hmm. um, I love you. One thing you are terrible about is your phone um, and the use of it. Your screen kept going out like every, you know, 30 mm-hmm. seconds or whatever. And it was just down by you. So at some point you're just going off a of memory mm-hmm. of remembering what Pennywise looks like. And mm-hmm. I don't even think you've seen that movie. Have you? No, I have. Yeah, I never have. Yeah. How, how did you, I'll, and we'll put a picture up on Instagram when we get home tonight on a uh, Ross Patterson not Revolution perfect. Instagram. I'm not super happy with it, it but everyone else. fucking flawless. And everybody in the, in the neighborhood's just like, yo, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, I, I don't know how you can do this stuff. Um, where was that ability? Did you do that as a, as a kid? Um, did I do like painting and stuff? Yeah. Not- I, I'm horrible at it. Not that that's a I huge had- surprise. Uh, super hippie, very do whatever you want to do kind of parents. And my mom was a painter. Ah, gotcha. I never really did, but I was just like, they were, they were much more, um, into whatever our creative stuff was than our (laughs) academic, Mm -hmm. as you can tell. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? So they cultivated the creative part. Like my brother's a chef. But like yes. this crazy, and he can like shape great. shape great surfboards. Chef. Yeah, out of nowhere, he just started them. They're amazing, selling for hundreds, <coughs> right? Right. He can take pictures. Like he's just really good. He, you know. Sure. Didn't go to school for whatever, but I think when your parents are more impressed with creative stuff than they are with academic stuff, you just try and do that. Got it. Because it's all about impressing your parents, right? No matter what we're doing, we just want them to be proud. Yeah. So if your parents are proud, which they are, if you like your academic accomplishments and all of this stuff, and oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, heck yeah. yeah. And mine were more like, 
you know, the plays that I got in or the thing that I painted or the what that was like stuff yeah. that they were into. I always say my my dad, if I owned a restaurant, that would be I mean, do you know what I mean? That would be That's your end all be all for your end dad. End all be all. It, and Ben is as close as you can get, right? Mm-hmm. And that is like the ultimate. Huh. Yeah. It's it's incredible. We're going to put a picture up on uh on Instagram. Uh you tell me what you think. And again, this is for somebody who doesn't you don't paint all the time. I don't I think the only time I ever see you paint is around the holidays. Halloween, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, Halloween, Easter, I was on Easter, my bullshit yeah. with those eggs. Yeah. You were on your bullshit with those eggs. I was eggs. back on my bullshit. Damn, dude. Um I I really love it, and I remember before I had kids, I just start. I did weird ass crafts. Remember, mm-hmm. I would like make you anniversary presents, and you're like, mm, thanks. Um, I was like, why couldn't you just buy me? Why a couldn't you just fucking buy me? Buy me, I, like, I'm still yeah. watching. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> couldn't fix the leather band on my watch. Yeah, I mean, you it's know? useless. <laughs> it's fucking useless, really. I mean, once the kids are out of the house, useless. Everything no, that I, I can do amounts to... I actually think it'll be useful when the kids are out of the house. Because you'll need something at that point to be like, all right, cool. What else yeah, am I going to do? Yeah, but what am I going to do? Paint, design cool shit. You were putting up shelves and like little plants the other day. Well, I'm working on the office. I want it to be a cool... I eventually want to do like a party and we want to do live shows and stuff yes. here. Uh, which we will put on Drinking Bros. Yeah, right? Yeah. But I want it to be nice and cool. Look, I'm the only gal in the office. Let's be real. So this place yeah. would be a fucking nightmare. Hellhole. <laughs> Hellhole yeah. if I wasn't here. So, you know, whatever. I do my part. It'd be a fraternity house. Yeah. And I think you guys would be fine with that. The only thing is I have to still be here. So you need to put up with my bullshit of God. like putting up it, it, you know what? succulents. It, we would be and, and you're absolutely right. I, when I started oh, you working, would love it. When I started working for uh, Funny or Die when they very first opened... Um, I was doing sketches for them in between movies, and it was like, f- you know, first thing. It was Will Ferrell's company, right? Adam McKay. And they were like, "Hey, man, you know, you come over for a meeting." And I, you know, eventually was over there a million times. But um, you walk in, and it was just this, this huge house. It wasn't even an office. It was a house that was just kind of empty with like desk and computers, you know, and weird rooms. And in, in the the downstairs floor there was two couches, a video game hooked up to like a, f- a huge TV, and that was about it. Mm-hmm. Subway sandwich wrappers everywhere. Like, it was just dudes on dudes on dudes. And you're right. That's, that's exactly what it would be if you weren't here. Yeah. And I think, again, I think you'd be <sighs> fine with it. So it's not like yeah. me doing it is for myself. You know really? whose office is fun is Sandler's. It's like that, but it's on, like, the rich end where you're just like. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would love to get, like, a, an old school pinball machine. That's what like, he's that got. kind he's of shit. Like, shit, I would yeah. do that. It just needs to be. Nice and organized. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not just fucking thrown in. (laughs) I think we should hire you some girls. Would you be cool with that? For what? For the office. To like help? We're going to get some more employees and stuff like that. Yeah. uh, To help out. What's. uh... Yeah. I mean, if you were going to get an assistant in the like intern type stuff or whatever, it should be a girl. Okay. I think. Yeah. Obviously ugly. Yeah. A bigger gal for sure. Bigger than me, that's gonna be tough. You show up, there's there's just two supermodels working here. You're like, yo, yeah. what did you and Dan do? What no, did it you needs guys to be do? somebody that actually has had to go through some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. some fucking hot bitches that don't know what life is. Hey. Hey. I want them to know the meaning of hard work. Yeah. I want them to know the meaning of Halloween, Jabes. We did this last year. Yeah. Well, I want to do it again. It was one of our funnest segments. You read a bunch of weird spooky lines one-liners yeah uh for halloween for halloween to just make just give you a little little bit creeped out right yeah you did not think any of them were creepy are we doing these before sponsors do it sponsors I think we can wait. tease it i should we tease it. this so? is what they do in tv so they go uh, the good stuff is coming after the commercial sure so then you need to stay yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stay Don't put. turn it off. Of course, of course. Now we'll fire away then. Ghost Coming back com. after the break. There it is. Go ahead. After the break, we'll be doing creepy one-liners that'll make your skin crawl. With Jesse Wiseman. Ooh, 
this is Halloween. This is Halloween. She's in a basement in Arkansas right now about to show you how to be creepy for people. Jesse's been dead for five years. <laughs> um, you know, it's, nothing's creepier than our first sponsor, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. This is their time. Ooh. Their time to shine. Their time of year. It's your time of year, too, to get a mattress. You can sleep so good, too. Yep. It'll be frightening. Goddamn frightening. Uh, they're, they're, look, they're a 36-month no-interest-pay-as-you-go program. Best in the biz. 38 bucks a month. They're Halloween specials right now. Go there. You can spin the wheel when you first get on there, dude. $9.99 off of a bundle package. That has never happened. They've never given a deal that big away. Go there. That bundle package, I'm talking about adjustable base, pillows, sheets, mattress, the whole kit and caboodle. You're good to go for fucking 10 years on that goddamn thing. Um, so go there now because that's, that's a massive deal. Now, if you're military or a first responder, they have a 15% discount forever on there, so you're good to go any time of year. But uh, right now, the Halloween deals are <laughs> happening, and they're frightening. I'm fucking scared. Daddy, I don't know if I'm going to get the goddamn mattress. Next up, <laughs> we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shablankers. Shablankers. Four amazing flavors. Everyone will be drinking them at our house tomorrow night because we're having a Halloween party. We are. We're having a Halloween HQ, which means yes. you come there a little bit before, get your road dogs ready, get some real food in you, yep. and then you hit the, the streets. streets. Fan H out. HQ. That stands for uh, hindquarters, right? Yes. Hollywood hindquarters. hindquarters. Hollywood. Hollywood hindquarters. <laughs> Um, I believe that's Hollywood Squares, that popular game you were thinking of, Chapes. No <laughs> carbs, no sugars. Put them in the White Claw, ladies and gentlemen. I know. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie ding dong. You want to uh, say it's you know, for the ladies, you know shit. you drink it. Calm. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to hide it anymore. No, you don't need to. I don't want to live forever. I don't know what that has to do with anything. but Yeah, but I'm, I, I, I drink that shit, so fuck it. And I put this in there. Right amount of taste flavor. I'm ready to rock all night. Ready to fucking punch a bear. Sure. Um, go to strikeforceenergy.com. No carbs, no sugars. Last longer five hour energy. Tasty tiny little tin pouch. Rip it open and squeeze it into any liquid available. Jabes, that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing. It's strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code revolution. 20% off. Last but not least. Um, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Oh, you like it? James is going to yellow face for Halloween uh, tomorrow night. Oh, with yes. With a, a bunch of railroad spikes. And coins. Yeah. A bunch <laughs> of coins to throw <laughs> at the airplane. Go rock. Oh, boy. Just hop on down to our neighborhood. And, uh, nice see flight. James. Yeah. Just, Have a good flight. What you're going to do is just nail a, a, a rail in, in everybody's yard and just leave. Um, that'd mm. be really frightening. Yeah. There's that woman in yellow face nailing a, a railroad spike in our yard. I don't Could know. Could it just be bright yellow? She's or? super in uh, character. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, Straightrazors.com's got everything you need for a homeless man who needs a goatee in this life. Blammo. Blammo. Because that look, that blade's not going anywhere. And if you're homeless, let's face it, you're probably using a straight razor. Yeah. You don't have time to wash that shit off. Mm -mm. White, wash it off on your jean, mm -hmm. your cargo you short. You yep. Know? Deadwood style. Yeah. Hell yeah. Swear engine. Great, great, grab me by the, by, the, by the cunt. Ah, it's the old cunt grab, huh? My favorite interaction on that entire show, mm. by the way. Um, it's very jarring the way air, they talked. About air, uh, the swear, uh, dude, swear engine had the best lines ever. Ah. It was the old cunt grab, huh? Fucking hilarious. I love that show. Um, you'll never see a show with more cursing than that, which is awesome. Uh, straight razors, shampoos, beard oils, conditioners, everything you need to be a real man in this life. And uh, it'll also help you panhandle better, apparently. So mm -hmm. go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to LukeBelair.com, L-U-C-B-E-L-A-I-R-E.com. Um, that is our uh, another one of our sponsors. Um, go to LukeBelair.com forward slash drinking bros. Get the champagne. 
we're we we have we ordered a fucking case of rose for all your friends in the neighborhood tomorrow gonna night. be a lot of ladies there a lot of ladies there drinking the rose looks ex- it is expensive um with the promo code though it's really drinking good. bros and it's great it is number one in the my world my mom smuggled three bottles in Home? her yeah she said they made it she's like i wrapped them in diapers oh god it was that good, though. It is good. Uh, look, it is the best in the biz. Here's the thing, too. With that promo code, there's like 26 bucks a bottle. You'll need these for the holidays. Do it, man. Go to LukeBelair.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, we've been drinking this shit fucking for weeks now. I love it. I, I It's one of those sponsors where you're like shocked that you have, holy shit, that's like the greatest thing of all time. Yep. I'm pretty amped about it. Enough of that cock tease and jabes. Let's go for the cunt grab. What do you got on this Halloween? One liners. All right. Let's get the creepiest one going. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I like this one just to start. We're gonna just like ease it up, yeah, right? Yeah. And you again don't think any of these are creepy. Well, yeah, so. we'll crank that soldier boy up. I woke up to hear knocking on the glass. At first I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Where's the ghost? In the mirror. In the mirror trying to get out. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This one's a classic from last year. Should I do? Oh, of course. Should Bust we do the one hits. from last? So the hit from last year. Yeah. That I thought was a hit and you did not. Okay, I'll begin tucking my child into bed and he tells me, Daddy, check. For monsters under the bed, I look underneath just for his amusement, just to see, and I see another him under the bed staring back at me, whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. Blam, oh, which one is it? Yeah. Which one's the real kid? <laughs> right? That's what you're thinking, uh, right? It wasn't. It wasn't last year and it wasn't this year. That's what you were like. You were so freaked out and you were like, which one's the real kid? Yeah. Right? Uh, the grinning, grinning face staring at me from the darkness beyond my bedroom window. Uh-huh. I live on the 14th floor. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I, uh, oh! Whoa! Uh, 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 How is somebody looking through your window? On the 14th floor. Hovering like a ghost. Yeah. Window washer, maybe. <laughs> nope. <laughs> window washers dress up for Halloween too, Jabes. Um, kind of racist. I mean, this one's just a like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Get in the game. Can you no, explain? I, I, I am in the game. No, I'm, I'm know, I know, I know, like, I know. Com- I'm, I'm so into this now because the one that got me last year was, and I don't want to steal your line if it's if you're gonna reuse it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and reuse it. There hasn't been a train. Oh well, here. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But that's always the best one, right? I was ho- I was having dinner with my girlfriend, yeah. you know, <laughs> and I realized she's been dead for ten years. Whatever. Um, <laughs> this can you explain this one to me? Yeah, I've read it a couple times. Yeah, and I can't. It's creepy, gross, weird. Okay. After working a hard day, I c- came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. Okay. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. (laughs) That's super dark. Really dark, right? Yeah. Is it the corpses that he's talking about? Yes. He's talking about the corpses. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a ghost. It's like actually there. Well, it could be. It's either it's either a ghost in his mind or Somebody actually dug up his girlfriend and stillborn okay. child and placed them inside the household. Okay. Okay. Um, Which, I'm going to be honest, option two is, is way worse. Way worse. Yeah. Right? Ugh. Gross. Yeah. Um, my daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. Ooh. Quit it, yeah. dude. Now you're getting scared. I can see it. I look at how scared you are, bro. I just shit calm through the down, first, calm down. first layer of my uh my depends. Wearing four pairs today. 
I knew it was going to happen. Why though, you got to be gross, James. <laughs> I'm just saying, we're, you said you're going to be scared shitless when we do today's show. Oh, yeah. I, I warned up. you because these up. are creepy and scary, and every year you just lose your mind with fright. I diped up today. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Good idea. Thank you. Good idea. Thank you. Um, I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. <gasps> oh. 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 You're alive Damn. in the grave. Yep, they're di- they're alive in the grave. Come back to life in the thing. Um, I mean, I don't know. She wondered why she was casting two shadows. After all, there was only a single light bulb. Ah, a ghost. A ghost behind her, James. A ghost <laughs> behind her. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'll say them. You, des- you explain them to me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said that to me. Uh, wait, you, can I give you a cheat of why I know that? What? Why I you posted know what? that picture. I of- mean, it's obvious, but yeah. No, I know, but if I, you I, can think at all. If you can think that fast, obviously, but sure, uh, sure. I posted a picture of uh, that that shot of Post Malone and us when we were outside the stadium posing, uh-huh. and somebody wrote, "Man, it's really good. I can't even see the the shadows. Usually, there's a you know. I'm like, oh well, it's a real fucking picture. You know what I'm saying? Um, the shadows thing, I didn't know to look for. I didn't know that at all. Oh, as far as like a Photoshop fail? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know what that. They were like, oh, no, there's no shadows. I can't even see a shadow. And I was like, oh, cool. cool. So when you said that, mm. some reason I knew it. Oh. Yeah, the shadows behind you. I was like, yeah, all right, cool. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know a lot about ghosts or the paranormal. Yeah. Um, well, I read this uh, article the other day about like most of these ghost stories and these like crazy you know the families being haunted haunted stories whatever started long time ago right Mm -hmm. um this was in a about a family in the 1920s in particular that they have no electricity right Mm -hmm. their house is in you know they have plumbing maybe but they don't have electricity they use gas lamps everywhere and most of these people had carbon monoxide poisoning right and all the things like side effects of having carbon monoxide poisoning are like seeing things, hallucinating, feeling things on your skin that aren't there. Really? And, uh, you know, until people got electricity, I mean, a gas lamp can have as much like carbon monoxide as a car exhaust. So, and they're just walking around the thing, leaving it lit. Uh, why not? Why not? So that's where a lot of this came. Not to be like shitting on Halloween and like, None of these things are real. Yeah. But a lot of these things, things aren't, aren't real. real yeah. um, I kiss my wife and daughter goodnight before I go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm in a padded room and the nurses tell me it was just a dream. Oh. Whoa. Crazy people ones. Ooh. That's freaky to me. The yeah. crazy person one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what, what you reckon? A couple more. <laughs> Fire away, James. It's Halloween. It's your time to shine. I feel like this is one of your, your best. Your um, best moments of the year. I'm not pre-reading this one, so I'm... I'm uh, cold read is what we call that in the biz. This is a cold read, so I'm sorry if it's dark. It looks like it might be. It sat on my shelf with thoughtless porcelain eyes and the prettiest pink doll dress I could find. Why did she have to be stillborn? Oh, God, that one's not good. Jesse, come on, man. That one's not good. Come uh, on. You should have pre-read that one. Oh, jeez. Yeah! But listen, yeah. one of them has to be a real freaky freak. Sure. That, thing. Yeah, that one, you did it there. Woo! You did it there. Oof. Fucking A, James. <laughs> Calm down. Fucking A. Calm you and I, down. I look into the mirror. I see my reflection blink. Okay, we washed that one yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Uh, we talked about this last night, ironically, about ghosts. What did we talk about? Sim world. If it was a sim world, it would make more sense of like, all right, why people see ghosts or why there's a yeah. something trying to come back. Yeah. That would make sense. The rest of it, it's just like, eh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get into it. I don't buy it. What's the scariest movie you saw as a kid? Um, 
Exorcism. Exorcist. Ah, the original? The f- original. Shoof. Don't know why. Oh, uh, no, I know why. That's creepy as fuck. It's really creepy. And what was creepy is I watched it with my friend, probably too young to do so. And we I like. Too. We watched yeah. it in my friend. She was rich. So we watched it in the pool house. And then we were sleeping out there. Yeah. And I was trying to freak her out. So in freaking her out, freaked myself out, right? Sure. Scared myself because you're not like old enough to actually scare people. Yeah. Because you like can't be scared yourself. Yeah. (laughs) So I think it was all just too much too soon. And I don't really love uh, a scary movie. No, no, no. Uh, I like the creepy stuff like this. Poltergeist. Um, Okay. Same thing. I saw it too young at somebody's thing or yeah yeah whatever man no, yeah, i don't no, remember the situation no. but uh the girl touching the tv and shit and then you mm-hmm. know they're here so the even freakier than that is the true hollywood story <clears throat> on all of the real life curses that happen after these movies yes right so the poltergeist one was like yeah fuck that everybody little was dying girl from that. died yeah. right yeah yeah or yeah there's a bunch of people that died in that movie yeah that's creepy that, now that shit's creepy. Where now like, that hey, shit is what's creepy to me. <coughs> the other thing, like, and that's the serial th- killer thing. Like that, like real people and their craziness mm-hmm. is so much scary, scarier to me than like a ghost or a monster or like some weird, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that is the shit that I watch to get freaked out. Um, I got a really nice message from uh, Lynn Shea last night. Yeah. Uh, from the Insidious franchise. Obviously, she's been in all that shit. Uh, we, I've done maybe four or five movies with her. She sent me a trailer for the new Grudge. They redid the Grudge, and she's in it. Um, and uh, that, that's a scary trailer. That, that looks badass. Um, yeah, pretty, dude. Pretty amped about it. Um, so. Yeah, they do it right. Yeah. They she do a, it right. She had a nice little congratulatory message about the book and everything. And I was like, thanks. And uh, she was like, what do you think of this trailer? And I was like, this is fucking dope. Um, Jason Blum does all that stuff. He's the guy. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Should have held on to that guy. I did one of his first movies. Mm-hmm. Um, he's the one that's doing all the scariest shit on the planet. He's brilliant. Brilliant guy. Brilliant producer. My um, eye is twitching. Oh, your eye? What, or is it? Must it? Be, yeah, it must or, be some kind of. Or, or is, did I lose my eye <laughs> 20 years ago? <laughs> uh, here's one that the train hasn't been through here. There we uh, go. My wife woke up last night to tell me there was an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes that's the kind of shit my favorite twilight zone is that shit like when they do that where it's like oh that's where the train thing comes from right uh, with a car yeah, yeah there's one of this girl all i can see in my mind is this girl in a phone booth uh-huh. i know you know it but anyways it's this whole thing where like she's been dead for the whole time right yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole show yeah um, trying to call, I think she's like trying to call home. She got in a car accident. Um, and she, yes. So she got in a car accident. Everyone's coming out to help her. She's on the phone. She's trying to call home. She died in the accident. Mm. Fuck. James. <sighs> I'm getting real scared. Up I here. know, dude, you are freaking out over there. Yeah. I know you like try and keep it together a little bit, but you, I know you, when we get off air, you're going to just like freak out dude yeah, you're usually so starts, scared usually starts a strangle basin and then i start freaking out you know <laughs> too high off the floor it's like uh, i can't uh-huh. I, that was i have no safety oh okay yeah 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 and that's where i like things like this what if those ghosts those are the <laughs> ghosts that you want to see huh? only the strangle basin ghosts show up in yeah, your house yeah, like yeah. every room yeah that'd be a great sketch where it's just like I'm going to go to a real haunted you house. You can't choose the ghost that comes. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's the thing. That would be great. Every room you go in into a haunted house, it's just ghosts of people strangle baiting on the back of every single door in every room. And you're like, oh, f- oh, fuck. Oh. oh, God. Why? It's usually like oh. some, oh. some like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And you're all jealous because your neighbor sees like, you know, like the little girl ghost or <laughs> yeah, the yeah, twins yeah. or whatever. And like, <laughs> you're just like, dude, are you seeing me? I'm like, only seeing overweight keep, men strangle baby. Or you're trying to talk to him about it like, man, these fucking ghosts are crazy, right? <laughs> like, it's a little bit, I mean, jarring to see, right? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. It's just like two girls. It's just two twins holding hands. It's not a big deal, right? And you're like, 
Um, um, so you're it. not seeing the... You don't see the big fat guys with the fucking belt around their necks? Yeah, yeah. on the back of the door. Jacking off? Yeah. You know, that's something you're not seeing? Cool. See you at the barbecue. My <laughs> sister says that mommy killed her. <laughs> mommy says that I don't have a sister. Oh. That one's a thinker only because... Because the sister could have kill- died and then yeah. the mom could have lied about it. Yeah. Yeah. We know that to be true from a... Your fucking, favorite, yeah, your, your favorite, favorite episode with Amy Adams, that show. Broken, broken pieces. Broken bush, whatever it is. Broken yeah. pieces, yeah. It's <laughs> no, it's not that at all. But I don't care enough about the show to know what it really is called. Yeah. Fractured things. Nah, who Sharp cares? objects. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh. Yep. Do, 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 do. She went upstairs to. She, she went upstairs. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a dead kid one. <laughs> she went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler and the window was open. The bed was empty. What happened? Somebody stole the kid. That's not like a yeah, ghost somebody, story. A that's like a story. yeah, that's like a straight that's, up abduction that's story. Just an Amber Alert. Yeah, and then she called the the it ends with like I called the police and yep. it was like put out an Amber Alert. I mean, it this was isn't a, brown a ghost. Toyota Camry. Yeah. Eight, 1988 Toyota Camry, here's the license plate, and then they caught the guy. And then they, they caught did. him. <laughs> this one's so stupid. But it's really going to freak you out. Okay. You like the simpler ones, I feel. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. Very Leonard Skinner. I'm a simple, simple man. Hush. They delivered the mannequins in bubble wrap. From the main room, I began to hear popping. Whoa! Whoa! Mannequins are coming to life and they're coming to get you, Ross! Or oh, they're real people. Oh. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Boom. They just pose like mannequins. They were doing the mannequin challenge, perhaps. That's a weird way to. Is it? I mean, I think you're complicating it a little bit. I, Jabes, these are thinkers to me. And I put a lot of deep thought into them. And I want my, my opinions expressed and shared in a timely manner. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today's fun. Yeah, Halloween is fun. It's my. It's one of my favorite times. I'm looking forward to it every single year, man. I I feel like the year happened too fast for me. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I wish I could slow down and enjoy this a little more. Um, going into Halloween, but uh, it is my favorite time. Uh, that. Oh, yeah. You're heading into all of it though. Halloween, oh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New, New Year's, all that stuff. Like, uh, that's this is it. And then you know you start over in January, and it's back to the back to the bullshit. Yeah, back on that bullshit. You did know, did you did you ever get told scary stories anywhere? No, by a campfire I, by your parents, anything? Like no, that? I, I didn't. You know, other kids. There was always the bloody hook on the window and shit like that. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Other that kids and things a like good that. One. But you know, not really. Hmm. That was kind of the extent of it. Um, also, you know, father was in the entertainment industry, so it was just like, all right, cool. It's good to see a lot of weird shit. Uh, being from the South, I got to go to a lot of backwoods, like uh, seances. That's no, cool. No, uh, haunted houses. Oh, okay. Where you like live chainsaws? Where you're like, oh, is that? Oh, nice, nice. Somebody could nice. get their fucking arm chopped off there. Like that's you know, somebody would come out and grab you. There was a place that we used to go where they told you that your clothing would be ruined. So whatever you wore, it was going to be destroyed. Did you ever go into anything like that? No. Yeah. No. Like a lot we of red corn like syrup. That. That's no, what they used no, to do. No, no. They'd mix uh, red dye with corn syrup to make the blood. So like, yeah. Uh, and they end up tearing down that house. Everybody's a fucking pussy now. but um, Yeah. Uh, they end up tearing down that house. But we used to go there all the time. And that was a blast. Because um, it was just like, <laughs> people popping out of like ripping through plastic sheets and shit in the walls where you're just like what the fuck yeah uh you, you, you had to stick your hand in a bunch of jars to like squeeze feel, it around yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 to feel what it was uh, i did do guy. that with my friends uh in scary stories you know the they're making the 
series of it now yeah. scary stories yeah, 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 to tell yeah. in the dark or yeah. whatever they have one that's an instructional thing to do with your friends where you like peel grapes and their eyeballs and you do it in the dark and you like give them to your <laughs> friends to like feel what yeah. it is i did that bullshit um i there's there's one house in the neighborhood that the guy goes all out and it is a full-on haunted house i'm looking forward to that guy's house okay um because that's the coolest shit ever man i mean he really goes for it right um and i miss things like that i feel like I, I feel like this generation in particular, everything's we're getting away from all that stuff because it's, you know, we can't frighten the children. We've got to share. We've got to do all this other stuff. And it's like, can't something just be good old fashioned and creepy again where you're just like, man, yeah. remember that thing as a kid? Because it almost helps you in a way for later on in life where you're like, man, I would never stick my hand in a jar that I don't know about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just like with everything. It's just not fun anymore. What was that Johnny Knoxville was on Hot Ones? And talking about a movie that he was making about an amusement park. Uh, oh, yeah. By yeah, Ozarks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where was it? Um, something I, like I that. I forget it, where it was, but they would something have like. like that. Where it was just like the craziest shit. People were getting injured yearly, but it stayed open. But it was because they were getting in, fucked up and like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But like t- today, it doesn't matter if you are doing it on purpose no. or if you're fucked up or whatever. Like the whole place gets <coughs> shut down I know. right yeah and it, it was funny for him to be like harken back to a simpler time where like people could die and get fucked up and the thing could still stay open yeah but it's true like where you just take personal responsibility for yourself yeah and your there, actions there was an article today on this campusreform.org which is ugh, god damn it man i just you know enough of it a recent survey found that 51 percent of american university students think supporting punishing others who wear highly offensive costumes is 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 great and you're just like there's a picture of an eight-year-old dressed as an indian on this thing and you're like like uh indian yeah cowboys and indians right trick-or-treating man how many indians do you think we'll see cowboys and indians probably 10 that we'll see cowboys i don't think so you're kidding right our neighborhood's pretty woke yeah, but pe- people come in from other neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, I don't even think it's a cool thing to be anymore, though. I don't know. I, is it? Who knows? But uh, that's wh- I think that's where we're heading with all this shit, where it's just like, man, fuck you, dude. You know? Just going to be a bunch of people wearing unitards pretty soon, just walking around to each other's houses. Can you see everything? Are we equal? Right. Are we all the same? Congratulations. Did I frighten you? I hope not. My culture is not your costume. Yeah, fuck. I'm so sick of hearing that that one too. You know? Yes. Your culture is not my costume. Like, you know, it's like telling people who invented sports not to play it because they're a different race than you. Hmm? Basketball was created by a white man. Be like, oh, hey, my sport is not your culture. Huh? Just because it was a bunch of white people playing basketball, man. Like, Gosh, you know, it's not the same. Um, Very. All, all yeah, of this. Definitely not the same, but that's okay. But they're really we'll reaching out on from that. for yeah. all of it. We'll just go right days. past all that. Everybody's doing it these days. Right. You know, mm-hmm. uh, they were talking. There was a video game kid yesterday. This is another big story. A video game kid yesterday who uh, was saying that they're, you know, the reason why eight. There's uh, ESPN's now got these televised video games as if they're real athletes. Yeah, which is See, not Bryant, sweet. Bryant Gumble did a thing on them. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, they're winning a lot of money. This last yeah. guy won. What was it seventeen million in Fortnite? Remember we talked about it on on air. Yeah, yeah. Um, seventeen million in Fortnite. Are hiring tutors now to tutor their kids in video games. Mm. Because You're kidding. it's big. Money, God yeah. God damn it. So there was a sketch on SNL on Saturday night uh, with Chance the Rapper, and he was hosting, and he was talking about uh, these kids who were wearing video ga- or playing video games and winning all this money, and they were like, um, look, the reason why it's only white and Asian people winning is because black people are too busy creating hip-hop. Um, and then some video gamer came out and was just like, I think that's a negative stereotype against video e-gamers is what he called himself e-gamers yeah they're not video game players anymore they're e-gamers sure, and sure. um he came out and did this fucking stance against it. and you're just like what are you doing dude what are we doing anymore drop the video game controller 
it's not when you not when that kind of money is involved they're offering classes Oof. college yeah dude come on it's a real fucking thing now and then now there's a new site and they're they're getting them they're buying these kids off of twitch mm-hmm. and putting them on this new site forgive me i don't know that much about video games but um now that's a thing where it's just like man you're getting bought out like contracts mm-hmm. um speaking of getting bought out uh the ncaa finally caved last mm-hmm. night they're gonna pay athletes they're going to pay athletes for their images and likeness so that way I think that makes sense you know why that way they can bring the video games back do you know how much Ooh, those NCAA yeah, games yeah, make? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that is one of the big ones. Um, Madden is obviously the pros, and then NCAA hoops, football, college football. Like, dude, even when I was in school, like, dude, everybody was playing college football, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the problem is, for a while, you couldn't use the real people, and then you could, and the kids weren't getting paid off of it. Now you can. Uh, so that that they finally fucking broke on that and said, "Hey, California did that. We did it as a revolutionary figure of the day." Remember Gavin Newsom? Oh yeah, yeah. That was so. He was the one that that said California. Hey man, these kids are getting paid. Then New York followed, and then uh, NCAA caved last night. You believe that? Um, and we got a game seven tonight too. This is this is my favorite time of the year. Charlie Brown's Halloween special is also one. You of my like favorites. that one too? That's my, yeah. fa- that's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. As we were carving pumpkins last night with the kids, we were looking for things to put on and. Uh, there's not that many great Halloween things for kids that aren't, you know, I guess Transylvania, but it's not really Halloween. Charlie Brown's always tried and true for me. Oh, yeah. You it's know? It's a staple. Christmas and, and Halloween, those are my mm-hmm. two go-tos. Uh, I'm a big fan. I like the Charlie Brown Christmas, I think. You don't like the Halloween? And we're in the pumpkin patch waiting for, waiting for the great pumpkin? We weren't big Charlie Brown kids. Ah. I was. It was past my time, too. They, they show it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good old-fashioned staple, Jabes. You know? Good old-fashioned staple. Um, I want to get to the revolutionary figure of the day. We didn't do one on the last show. Um, there was a fucking breaking news story that happened, I think, no lie, two minutes after we got off air, and I want to talk about this guy. Um, Robert Evans. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood producer. He was head of Paramount. He made Chinatown, Godfather, uh, like a slew of unbelievable movies. And um, I didn't, look, he was obviously before my time, so I didn't know who he was. And I was telling you this story. I went to a, um, invited to some red carpet event, and they give you a, a gift bag afterwards. And in this gift bag was a DVD for this movie called The Kid Stays in the Picture. And mm. we were bored and just fucking threw it on. And it was the documentary of Robert Evans' life. So at that time that I watched this, I was watching, I was big into The Room, um, which James Franco and those guys made a movie about Tommy Wiseau. Mm -hmm. Tommy Wiseau and Robert Evans were the two characters that I kind of pulled things from to create St. James Street James. Um, They were so outlandish, like the stories from Robert Evans were so outlandish I don't know if all of them were true or not, but they were the best ever. And if you check out this documentary, every word he says is, uh, did I love her? You betcha. Right. Ask the question. Did I know? Did I know she would leave me? Of course I did. Did I chase the other dame on the other side of the room knowing it could ruin my life? I had to. But the next day, I woke up and I made a deal with Mario Puzo for The Godfather. You know? Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, every story is like that, right? Very similar to like this guy where you, you don't know if it's real or if it's fake. You can go through his history and see that he definitely made all these movies and did all this shit. But are any of these stories really true? Or what secrets did he actually die with that, that he didn't tell? Mm. We'll never know those either. But he passed away at uh, 89 years old. And the thing that made me the saddest was we were watching ABC News mm-hmm. with David Muir. Yeah. I'm starting to like less and less, by the way. Oh, yeah. They're definitely uh, skewing. Jesus Christ. They're um, skewing. Yeah. The, the thing about self-importance, which, you know, I've talked about this before, where you think what you're doing and yourself and everything is so important. I People don't. will remember you forever. I know you don't. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, I, you, you have to you have. You do. S- yes. But in my eyes, what I, what I think or thought is that you have to have something 
have worked for some something in your life to create a lasting memory for something, right? To but be I on this, this earth. This is why we work so well together because Probably. you feel that way, and then I wake up some days going, "Why the fuck do people even want to hear me talk? Like, who the fuck am I? <laughs> who do I fucking think I am, dude? Like, I wake up." most mornings before I come to work thinking that like there's right. no way like who there's no way what, do, what the <laughs> fuck do I have to say I'm just gonna talk about shit that I want to talk about and I guess and that's true by the way somebody stopped us yesterday uh, a few actually four or five people stopped us yesterday to take some pictures and you were like I remember you looking at the first person and you were like why does this person want to even take my picture oh well because you, you were get you guys were like want to take a picture you and they were like James we want you in here I'm like I I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> That's never, I'm always like, I'll take it, right? They're like, no, 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 we no, want No, we love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that's, you know. Yeah. Well, look, back to the Robert Evans thing. Uh, to, in my eyes, he had done all this important, cool, unbelievable, amazing right. shit. And, and then blip. It was reduced on ABC News at 630 with David Muir. At One Cocksucker. sentence. And three stock three stock photos. photos. It was uh, maybe a fifteen second roll, three stock photos, and then eh, rest in peace. Right. The next one, we've got a girl who was yeah, exactly. got an eyeless dog, and you're like, and they do like a half an hour piece, half on hour that. segment on her. Um, and, and you you realize you're like, oh my gosh, man. Part of you is just like me, at least. It's depressing when you're like, what am I? What am I working this hard for? Who cares? Who's gonna? Who's gonna? If that guy. If that guy can't get more than 15 seconds, who cares? Like, I'm yeah. a fucking idiot. I know. I guess there's other things in life to, like, work for, but. What are they, then? I don't know. I know. What could <laughs> they possibly fucking be? <laughs> what could be more important I know what it is. than fame? No, it's not that. I, I know what mine is, at least. Um, mine is leaving something for children and grandchildren to be like, all right, cool. If you work hard, you can accomplish X. That's that's what my whole thing is. I don't give a shit about the fame. I, I never have. Um, right, but that's what gets you on the fucking ABC. You know, to to have a big piece correct. on you, you but, need. But, but a I don't. I don't. I, I want to clarify. I don't. I don't care about being on ABC News okay. or, or anything like that. I, I don't. I just. I, I find it odd that like the people that I looked up to, who made the most amazing, impactful are films, like, are reduced meh. to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if they could go back and watch it last night, like if Ro all I kept thinking was if Robert Evans was in my living room last night and he's dead, right? James, he's only been dead for oh, one yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> I, I met, I had a meeting with Robert Evans the other <laughs> night. He's been dead for two days. <laughs> is that what you wanted? <laughs> there it is. That's exactly what I wanted. It's impossible. <laughs> I laid it up there, James, right on the tee. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and all I kept thinking was, if, if it was him and I sitting on the couch, right, after watching his documentary, hearing this guy's voice a million times, uh, and then I just said, hey, Robert, what do you think of that, man? You lived, you lived one of the most remarkable lives you possibly could have lived on this earth. And it just got reduced to 15 seconds yeah. and three awful stock footage photos from Getty Images. All right. like, and they were all like the most basic, you know, that you've seen all the time where you're just like, ugh. Would you pull that off of LinkedIn? Yeah. Um, I was like, what would you think of everything you, you did? He probably would, just would have said, fuck me, right? Fuck me. Why? Why did I try? Why did I do it? I know. Um, that's what I always think about. Because uh, I go back, you know, I've got family members who have passed away. And I think me personally, I don't know if you do the same thing. That's why I'm asking you this. You look back at, at their lives, right? Don't you try to pull for things that you think like oh my grandfather did this or my father did that or to tell to other people or to tell to your children or um do you ever build them up to be like better than they were or you thought they did more or things like that uh no really no okay yeah so i i i don't know you do the you want qualities that i talk about like with my like grandpa that died or whatever mm -hmm. was just you know like just a good fucking time and always made sure we had a couple bucks when we walked out the door yeah and we just like drank and smoked and fucking talked shit constantly and he was super entertaining because of that 
he was really fucking rich. It wasn't in like a legal way. Was he rich? Yeah. What do yeah. you do? Um, little of this, little of that. Ah, there it is. Italian Jersey mob ties a little bit. He yeah. did. Uh, he did testify. He did against- construction. Yes, exactly. And he did uh, testify against uh, Joey Bananas. Joey really? Banana, which is like he has his name has come up in like these gangster kind of movies or whatever. Is he a snitch? Was your grandfather a no, snitch? No, so he pleaded the fifth. Ooh, and so after uh. that, you know, Mink Mink Furs kept coming to the house, mm-hmm. and I think after he testified and didn't say anything, you know, all that stuff started coming. But he was in construction in Jersey and New York. Yeah. So to me, that's fucking cool. Sure. I know it's illegal and like he didn't fucking kill anybody, but he definitely like made money in an illegal way and was just fucking cool as shit. But I think But you have cool stories. It's cool stories. And like Joey Banana, it's like that's fucking great. Right. So I I guess I should switch it. You're trying to create cool stories. So at least your kids and grandkids have some crazy memory of who you are, you know, where it's just like. Right. And then like with my dad. Right. Mm. Like I kind of think about now. Because you're starting to get to a point where you're like, what the fuck am I going to do if this happens, right? You've experienced it. I haven't. Of oh, like if you're, if a, a parent, parent passes away, yes. dying. Yeah. And um, I've already kind of thought about what legacy he leaves behind, right? Which is yeah. just this like, and I always say it, legacy of chill. This thing of like <laughs> that he's passed down to all of us and you see it in all of his kids and stuff of... Something I'm pretty proud of, but just like going with the flow, chill, knowing how to be in the moment, stay in the moment, stay humble, look at things that are really important, like just hanging out with your grandkids and working enough so that you can do the things you really want to do and not letting that pass you by. Like he never, he isn't the guy that's like when he's about to die is like, oh man, I wish that I did this and this, right? Right. He disc golfs whenever he wants. He fucking like, you know, visits family when he wants to. He like, I don't know. He's not, he's, he definitely does not, he's not the person that's like, I wish I would have. Right? Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's pretty powerful, right? To be like, I'm not working my fucking ass off until I die and I don't have any, you know. yeah. You retire at this age, you know, 70, something like this. And now you're trying to fucking hang out and have fun. Sure. It doesn't work like that. Right. You may be able to drive a RV around and like travel a little bit, but it's not going to be the same as enjoying it when you have the fucking strength and the will to do it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. Finding ways to set your life up or or whatever you need to do. So that you have those good times in your life and you're not working to someday be able to do it. I think to me, that's kind of, you know, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But uh, wild thing to think about. But uh, I knew today was going to be a fun show today when I drove in. There's some days when you're in a mood where you're like, man, I feel great today. I don't know what it is. There's something in the air today, but I feel great. It's It's definitely not fall. Show. It's fucking it's, it's 80 not. degrees. And that's why we didn't it's dress definitely up. Definitely not fall. Yeah, it is not fall. Fall is not in the air. <clears throat> Under these studio lights. Yeah. We were not, we, we were going to go back get, in summer. And we maybe were, I think we were going to get like matching llama onesies or something from Walmart. It was going to be a like, Walmart, like a unicorn and a panda. Put that on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even tomorrow, taking the kids out. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't, like, it's going to be, I think, 78. So, no. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do that either. Not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have to put on a, a bodysuit or something. A surfer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? You know, just throw a surfboard in the thing. And oh, just walk around. all right. Who all knows? Right. It's warm as shit. I might have to go Swayze with it, you know? Yeah. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Thanks for joining us, and happy Halloween, everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Good night. Good night.